guys welcome to my channel jobs tuber guys today i am going to explain about uh, the cutoff uh, marks analysis and subject wise weightage in the upcoming exam nlc graduate executive in training for electrical guys i am going to explain guys the exam is computer the written exam is computer based online exam uh, the exam duration is 2 hours and the question paper will consist of two parts part 140 questions which are um, the questions on quantitative aptitude or logical reasoning general awareness data interpretation and english paper uh, general english the question could be asked from these areas and part two comprises of 80 questions based on electrical subjects all questions been asked in part two each question will carry one mark and for wrong answer there is a um, negative marking is there 0.25 marks will be dejected for each wrong answer selection process is based on on written exam and interview written exam weightage will be 80% and interview weightage will be 20% written paper comprise of total of 120 marks out of which part 1 is 40 marks which asked on general it mean uh, quantitative aptitude uh, english uh, reasoning data interpretation and part 2 is 80 marks uh, the questions in part 2 asked on the subject electrical subject so after written results based on merit list 1 is to 6 candidates uh, will be shortlisted for the interview guys if we talk about part 1 gk subject weightage total marks is 40 marks so this five or the topics could be asked in will be asked in Uh, part one paper. So each topic could carry more or less equal marks only. So both focus on all subjects and give preference to all topics. Then if we talk about uh, part two, eighty marks electrical subject. So subject wise, I am displaying here. Uh, it is the minimum to maximum marks range uh, for electric on uh, from electrical power system subject. We can expect twelve to fifteen marks. So minimum is twelve and fifteen uh, marks could be maximum. electrical machines from electrical machines we can expect 12 to 15 marks from analog and digital electronics we can expect 10 to 12 marks for from control system we can expect 8 to 10 marks uh, from electrical circuits and electromagnetic field we can expect 8 to 11 marks from microprocessors and computers we can expect 2 to 4 marks mm. from power electronics also we can expect uh, 6 to 8 marks from signals and systems we can expe expect to 2 to 4 marks from electrical and electronic measurements also can can we can expect 10 to 12 marks guys i am now talking about safe zone marks instead of cut off marks i am going to talk about safe zone marks uh, suppose if a candidate uh, uh, got this marks he could be expecting safe zone uh, if a for general category candidates unreserved category the 102 getting marks of around 102 to 105 plus marks in the written test could be safe zone so he can expect interview as well as he can be prepare ready for he can dream for job also so for 85 plus marks candidates can expect interview call so and obc candidates for obc candidates uh, 95 plus marks could be safe zone and 80 plus marks candidate uh, 80 the candidates who uh, scored 80 plus marks can expect interview call and sc candidates uh, for sc candidates 80 plus marks could be safe, safe zone and 65 plus marks can expect interview call and uh, st candidates who got 75 who, who get 75 to 80 marks Uh, will be in safe zone and who will get 65 plus marks can expect interview call and for ews candidates 95 plus marks could be safe zone and 85 plus marks can expect interview thank you guys for more job related news subscribe my youtube channel